Hi, today's topic is uh, classification and general characters of fungi as suggested by G.M. Smith. Fungi are uh, uh, a chlorophyllous heterotrophic organisms as we all know. They are either the saprophytic or parasitic or sometimes symbiotic or even sometimes hyperparasitic organisms. They are uh, eukaryotic and uh, spore-bearing organisms surrounded by a well-defined cell wall made up of chitin with or without fungal cellulose along with many other complex organic compounds or molecules. Fungi usually obtain food by absorption and sometimes as in lower fungi it, it can also be obtained by ingestion. The study of fungi is called as mycology as we all know that we have we have actually studied this is this is just for brushing up your knowledge now as i have told you fungi are uh, heterotrophic organisms and since they, they they lack chlorophyll or chlorophyll is absent completely hence they show either a saprophytic or parasitic uh, mode of nutrition generally and plant body is uh, a thallus or or we call it thallus is made up of a thread like unit what we call hypha many uh, many uh, are called as hyphae and hyphae are either uh, aseptate or septate. Several such hyphae together form mycelium and several such mycelia, mycelium together form mycelia. Now as it is clear from the diagram, this is what is uh, septate hypha, septate hyphae as you can notice there is a single nucleus in each cell this is actually septum this is hypha and these are the branches these are septae so these are called as septate hyphae or in the second diagram as you can see the hypha or the hyphae they are they are not with any septum or they are called as aseptate hyphae or even Cynocytic hyphae, where, where the the cytoplasm and nuclei are free flowing within within the hypha. So these are these are typically two types of hyphae what we generally observe in fungi. In this diagram, actually, this is for you to. Uh, understand in the rhizopus the the fungus what we have studied where actually you will find cynocytic hyphae so that is what is its uh, its example and in aspergillus you will find the septate type of hyphae fungi are classified by scientist G. M. Smith into two two major components myxomycetes which are considered as primitive fungi or they are also referred as slime molds and true fungi or what we call eumycetes which are considered as true, true fungi because they possess a cell wall.
I will see next level of classification in this the true fungi or eumycetes or eumycota can be classified into phycomycetes ascomycetes basidiomycetes and deutromycetes now mixomycetes or slime molds is the first part in which fungi are uh, divided in that this class of fungi are considered as primitive type of uh, fungi they lack cell wall and plasma membrane is the outermost uh, covering of the plant body whereas phycomycetes this part, this particular type of uh, fungi have uh, aseptate or cenocytic hyphae the sexual reproduction is prominently seen for example rhizopus and mucor rhizopus is referred as uh, bread mold now second part ascomycetes this class of fungi are known as sac fungi they have septate hyphae the sexual stage is divided into plasmogamy dicaryophase karyogamy and diploid state stage followed by meiosis to form haploid ascospores generally eight in number or uh, it is it is multiple of eight and as as in case of uh, yeast which also belongs to this particular group of fungi it is four so uh, leaving aside the exception that is yeast or saccharomyces all other ascomycete member they have eight or multiple of eight number of ascospores ascospores are enclosed within uh, a, a special sac like structure what we call ascus and because of this particular ascus this type of fungi they are they are called as sac fungi the ascus appears like a bag or a sac that is why it is called as asco ascus and the, the, the ascomycetes are referred as uh, sac fungi ascomycetes generally have three type of uh, fruiting bodies the fruiting body rather is called as ascocarp and it has got three type of fruiting bodies generally we refer to as cleistothecium perithecium and apothecium examples are taken from the the fungi what we have we have studied up till now ericyphe xyleria aspergillus etc next class is basidiomycetes these are the fungi are known as club fungi and the hyphae are septate the sexual stage is divided into plasmogamy much delayed dicaryophase that is uh, cells with two nuclei karyogamy fusion of two nuclei uh, and short diploid phase followed by immediately rather immediately followed by meiosis which forms haploid basidiospores 
generally basidiospores spores are four in number and they are they are exogenously produced on special structure called as basidium basidiospores spores are of two types two are positive type and two are negative type though they appear uh, uh, similar morphologically but physiologically they differ and they they behave uh, as opposite strains sometimes the fruiting body is formed in this particular uh, group of fungi and that is referred as basidio carp for example agaricus the common mushroom what we eat um, pleurotus this is yet another uh, edible mushroom paxinia this causes serious uh, crop disease in wheat what we call black stem rust of wheat and so on the next class of fungi is uh, deutromycetes this class of fungi are known as fungi imperfecti fungi imperfecti uh, are the fungi uh, which have septate hyphae as as it was in ascomycetes and basidiomycetes and uh, the sexual or perfect stage is absent or not not seen perfectly that is why this particular group of fungi is called as deutromycetes or fungi imperfecti since the sexual reproduction is not seen or absent the reproduction is by means of a sexual mode of reproduction this is a temporary class of fungi therefore referred as form class form family form genus etc to denote the the classification is temporary some examples are alternaria and cercospora this is example of rhizopus species which belongs to phycomycetes this is typically uh, ascus structure with eight ascospores the outer sac like structure next is uh, basidiomycetes which have uh, a structure called as basidium on which you have sterigmata and at the top of sterigmata you have uh, four ascos uh, sorry four basidiospores which are opposite in strain in deutromycetes sexual reproduction is absent next we have true fungi now we'll see the types this is rhizopus with aseptate mycelium with uh, spores and sporangiophores you must have seen this many times ascomycetes you have uh, aspergillus with uh, asexual spores seen in the slide uh xyl xylaria basidiomycetes this is agaricus toadstool am am amanita yet another uh, mushroom finally deutromycetes spores of uh, asexual septic spores of uh, alternaria single spore of alternaria uh, cercospora personata or tica disease of uh, groundnut that is how we come to an end of this particular slide show thank you so much